Combining functionality with aesthetic design is the focus of all forms of architecture. Located on a 10 perch block of land in the heart of Colombo 5, Abhiratna House fuses traditional and modern sensibilities to create a space that is contemporary but also reminiscent of a rural setting. We sat down with renowned architect Tisara Thanapati, who creates sanctuaries away from the stresses of modern society, to gain an insight into how he created a haven of calm in the middle of the city. You know, through architecture, uh, what we uh, do is actually creating a comfortable environment to live in. Main important features of this house is, it's a, it's a courtyard house, it's an introverted house. You know, the spaces actually focus into this courtyard. So there is one main feature of the house. Then this is on a split level. So we did it on a split level to achieve certain things. Our client actually is, is from a rural area. He has a rural upbringing. He wanted a space uh, which actually sort of stimulate the memories of his past. Uh, so we have to create a space which is relaxing and which reflects the the qualitative aspect of a rural house but in a modern way modern it's a modern interpretation of a, a rural house so to cut off yourself from that clutter of the outside we thought of focusing inwards and create a little bit of greenery so that you are you feel that you are part of nature so that's uh, the courtyard aspect of the house and how the spaces are arranged in the house. So when it comes to the split level uh, arrangement, uh, you know it's the kind of a strategy that we develop to create a bit of a garden in a small plot. Our issue is in the urban context is your, your land is getting subdivided into small plots and then the people have a lot of, I mean their requirements are such you have to cover the whole land with a concrete structure. Then your greenery that you had in your suburbs is no more, right? So that's an ecological disaster. Uh, by doing this, this, applying this strategy, you can increase the percentage of greenery in the whole area. So that's the, that's the, the second important aspect of this house, where we have uh, taken dining and the kitchen and pantry into a different level above the services area, the garage and the storeroom, right? And the utility area where you don't need that much of a height. So split, you, you, what you do is you split the ground level uh, functions into two and have half of it on a mezzanine level. When we do architecture, we try to create a sensual experience, you know, to stimulate your senses. Then beyond that, you want to give your client, the user, a psychological comfort, right? Then beyond all that, we try to create, uh, uh, through our architecture, we try to touch the uh, spirituality. Actually, architecture is not just a visual thing. It's a multi-sensory experience, you know. It, it's, it's about taking the wind into the house, you know, maintaining the thermal comfort and then how you move through the house is also important. It's a total experience, not just visual. You know, in this house, the focus is into this courtyard where you have this uh, green, patch of green, you know. So, so we try to sort of calm your mind by focusing yourself into this garden and creating this bit of greenery. And also having a courtyard is also very useful to get cross ventilation. When you keep the doors open, the wind blows in. You know, in a tropical situation, that's very essential. Even the use of materials like timber and natural materials also helps to create this multi-sensory experience. So in this house, we use uh, materials which are subtle, it's mainly cement balls and white plastered balls and timber, you know, nothing more than that. You know, timber plays a special role in this house. 
So the, its minimum uh, use of materials to complement to achieve this spatial ambience that we want to create. So through my architecture, primarily we create, try to stimulate the senses and to give sensory pleasure to the user.